DevTech is one of the the sigo pinaka highest level with gems dito sa Pilipinas. Pero are there others? Yeah, of course. There's, there's other teams, of course. There's a lot of other teams. But then I'm um, very, very proud to say for the past decade, uh, DevTech is, you know, mm -hmm. um, hands down for Jiu-Jitsu. We won, like this year, this year, for example, we won overall champions in everything. Mm. Everything. And uh, actually for the past 10 years, you know, just, just a problem. Sayang lang is, sayang lang because um, the, uh, for Jiu-Jitsu, mm -hmm. the best athletes don't get to represent the country. Oh, nga, parang nasabi nga ni Gustav. Mm -hmm. So, bakit ganun? Ano nangyari? Ah, kasi ito sa Philippines. Yung sports sa Philippines is ganito pa rin. Oh, kung kaibigan mo si ganyan, then pwede kayo. Ganun pa? Oh, Ganun pa rin eh. Grabe naman yan. So, can you imagine, we sent the people na second and third place na hindi naman nanalo nationals dito. Sila yung pinagdala sa Asian Games. Mm. Ganun mo, kamote. Wow. We had to sell about how many people, but uh, eight or five, five to eight people, one bronze. One bronze. And we had five sure gold medals. Ito pala, my girlfriend here is May Masuda. Uh -huh. First uh, Filipino world champion, mm -hmm. first Asian beach gold medalist, mm -hmm. first uh, homegrown black belt. Di siya who, who are the people that, that uh, forms this committee? Okay, um, what happened was, uh, kasi, the second and third place teams, like kapunchapa kapunchapa sila na para sa mga bata lang nila kumunta. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung mag-open tryouts, bubog sila. Yeah, every year, binabubog namin yung mga yan. Eh. Uh. So, what do you call it? So they did that, and then it was a terrible injustice to our country. Can you imagine? You represent the country. You're, you're a federation that represents the country. But you knowingly sent people who are not the Philippines' best. And you, and uh, ipaprap mo sila as, as uh, the best. Oh, tapos, uh -huh. then they're not the best. Tapos, tignan mo, when, when that happened, yan, tala. Every, where, where people are cheering na, oh, we had so, you know, we had a good uh, run in the Asian Games, we had so many medals. We shouldn't be celebrating about that. We should get, you know, we should be getting more. Mm -hmm. Kasi, nandun naman yung PSC to support. Eh. Mm -hmm. ba? Now, you just have to put the right people in charge and get rid of all of the people na may agenda. Mm -hmm. Ang problem kasi sa Philippine sports is, at dami dyan, puro agenda nila. nila. Mm -hmm. And their agenda is not to send the best. Are you are you a part of uh, this committee? Uh, I'm the I'm the president of the Philippine Wrestling. Ah, okay. So this uh, November six to nine, we're going to be hosting the uh, Sea Games here. Oh ah, yeah. This November, so mm -hmm. um, I'll be trying to break the record for the most golds by of an NSA in the Philippines. NSA is a National Sports Association. Ah yeah. So, okay. So. Ano, anong magandang gawin dyan <laughs> sa problema na yan? Sa Philippine sports? Oh, oh. Well, you just have to put the right people in charge. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, kasi yung, yung mga, a lot of the people there are not athletes. Uh, yung uh, the mga people deciding? Oh, yung mga nakaupo dyan. Mm -hmm. A lot of them never trained. How, how did they get to their positions? Okay, sports, is, sports at the higher levels is more political than anything else. So, you know, a lot of these people never even play the sport that they're representing. Mm -hmm. So when they, when they do that, I mean, how can you produce champions? How can you have a program when you've never been an athlete? And bakit man naman, if I, kung ako yun, ha, bakit ko naman tatanggapin yung position na yun? If I'm, uh, diba, if I'm, if I'm not even, diba, parang lakabo ko rin kung oh, gano'n, diba? True, diba? Right? <laughs> oh. You say, you, you'll be lying to yourself. Yeah. Right? You know, it's like this. Because when you become like an official, mm -hmm. you can dami mo, you know, there's, uh, there's ways to make money, mm -hmm. ka, mm -hmm. or there's a lot of prestige. That's it, you, and then there's a lot of, um, you know, you get to travel everywhere. So, so okay, you know, really good, good. Lang, that's it. So, um, there will be a time that we will have good sports leaders who can really, who will really, really be able to lead our country. And, um, you know, we're in that fight, and we'll always be in that fight. To say eventually we will not rest. That's going to be one of my, you know, one of my fights that I got to make sure the right people are in charge. We cannot, we cannot allow na palpak na lang tayo sa, sa, you know, sa sports. Hindi mm -hmm. naman ang gagaling ng Pinoy. Eh. Di ba? We have, we have yung puso ng Pinoy. Iba yan compared to everybody else. Pag Pinoy sanay ka sa hirap, kahit anong hirap yung bigay mo sa Pinoy, they can always laugh it off. Kasi ganun pa tayo katibay. Eh. Now, can you imagine if we, we use that resilience Tapos you support people properly. Diba? There's no way we type when you're Olympic champions. 
Grabe. Tapos parang ano eh, so ang nangyayari parang uh, short change talaga ang mga Pilipino. Well, yes. That, parang, parang ang saya-saya na natin, da, yun pala, dami pala natin. Oo, oh, dami. And then, sometimes also, um, the support that uh, the athletes are given. Can you imagine, like, like uh, for wrestling, our budget is around 12 million per year. Okay? Mm-hmm. Ang kuniya, ang budget nila is 3 million dollars. Wow! So, pa, paano pala laban doon? Oh. <laughs> diba? So, g- ganun yung mga programs. So, you know, um, it's either we have to, syempre, discard yun tayo para we can, you know, we can be competitive, but that's what we're up against. Amazing. Uh, I also saw this news about Heidelin Diaz, the yes. parang she was interviewed. Mm-hmm. That was uh, and dami daw demands for uh, oh. for uh, from her by the people. Kasi naman sila. Mm-hmm. Tapos pero hindi naman and daming demands pero imagine, wala naman binibigay. Imagine siya sa tamis na biya ang taas ng demands niya sa amin pero mm-hmm. lit ng binibigay niya. Mm-hmm. When you when you go uh, you know around the world to international competitions, you will see how how far behind we are. Like, for example, I just came from Kazakhstan. Mm-hmm. We spent we spent for our we spent for our trip ourselves to Kazakhstan. Mm-hmm. But getting done to Kazakhstan, I noticed all the other teams, all the other countries, naka full jacket sila, mm-hmm. naka full uniform. Tapos they, they had their own coaches, they had everything. Mm-hmm. Pero tayo kami, mm-hmm. our federation, we had to pay for everything ourselves. Mm-hmm. See people. Yeah. So and how many people were, were in the team? We had about three or four. Three. And then in half the month, we sent to Japan. Mm-hmm. So Japan, we got overall sa novice competition naman. So Tapos Japan, pa rin, zero support? And zero support. Zero. Well, zero, zero talaga? Zero support. Kasi ako nag sa sahad. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, of, one of the things also is, um, I took over I took over my NSA in mm-hmm. Okay, now. When I took it over, the past two officers namin, sobrang kurahot. Mm-hmm. Kasi nilalako talaga nila outright yung pera. <laughs> so, hindi nila ma-liquidate. Mm-hmm. So ngayon, that I'm the president, there's unliquidated. Now, there's this policy now. Pag may unliquidated ka, mm-hmm. hindi ka pwede kumuha ng support sa PSC. But even if it's not my time, my, my time fully liquidated lahat. Even if it's not, I have to bear that burden. So, I'm, that's where we are now. So, because of that, wala kami nakawang support. Eh. How do how do these people sleep? <laughs> exactly, right? We had we had this one girl coach, pa. We na kulong namin yun eh. Um, we had a coach, yeah, girl, ah. Mm-hmm. Yung mga kids are given five thousand a month allowance. Mm-hmm. Yung kinagawa niya, kumukuha siya ng four thousand para sa kanya. One thousand na binibigyan niya sa mga bata. Grabe. Imagine, sa kung tira ka pa gano, kinawo na nila. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, that's that's what uh, we're up against. So, and these are former athletes as well. Yes. yes. Bakit ganun, di ba? Siguro parang, ano yun, gaganti ka nila kasi ganun ang ginawa sa iyo. So, that's what we're up against. Uh, so, you know, one is we have to have the right people in charge. The policy makers have to be real athletes. Hindi yung naisi lang nila, ano kaya? Gawin natin to. Di ba? At saka kailangan wala sa agenda. Mm-hmm. Di ba kasi yung agenda nila para makita lang yung mukha nila sa TV. Para kung alam. Oh, the agenda should be to to help the the athletes and get medals. Yes, diba? If there's a, an agenda, dapat yun. <laughs> That's the only agenda. Oh my! But apparently, hindi. actually, I was thinking of doing this. Eh. Well, I'll, I'll say it here first up. Oh. You know, in Russia, what they do is when they when they about these other Russian countries when they have corrupt officials, they go in, they carry them. Mm-hmm. Despite the labas, may malaking basura na sila tapo nila dun. <laughs> I'm this close to doing that. <laughs> well, well, kaya mo siguro nga doon, wrestling, oh, 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 wrestler ka, di ba? <laughs> Bahala na si Batman sa mga kaso. Kailangan na talaga eh, grabe. grabe. So, you, by the looks of it, you're really fed up with this, uh, ah, yeah. this system. This is really, this is really, you know, it's really very, very hard. Especially, I see our athletes, they work so hard, but then they don't get, you know, they just don't get the support that they, that they deserve. Ang sama ano, can you imagine, you, you, just to be a Filipino athlete, ang hira. Mm-hmm. Ang late ng kinikita mo. Mm-hmm. Uh, kahit sinasabi na, okay, um, if you win this, you, you get this. Pero before you can win at this level, you have to be given proper support. Mm-hmm. So, in wrestling, they say, for example, bakit hindi kayo maabot ng Olympics? Because yung sa atin is, kalaban namin, seven years old pa lang world champion na. Mm-hmm. So, 
Can you imagine that? Diba? And then I get arrested at 18, so mga 16 to 18. Doon pa lang sila pwede bigyan ng sweldo. So, oh. so, so the policy making is uh, talaga uh, grabe. Uh, uh, and this is just the, kumbaga, sports, sports siya. Hindi pa, hindi pa tayo yung mga <laughs> matitinding uh, ayan siya talaga ng gobyerno. Not to undermine sports. Yeah, but, uh, pero, di ba? Kung doon pa lang. No, but, okay. Now, going back to that, um, uh, just in case people might be listening also. Now, mm -hmm. people who say, so PSC, now, PSC is the funding arm of the government. Mm -hmm. okay? All of the employees of PSC, sobrang bait na mga yan. They really, kung sila para sa atleta talaga. Mm -hmm. Because I've been there and there every day. But sometimes it's, there are some policies that, that uh, are given to them that mm -hmm. it just doesn't work. <laughs> like what? Well, yeah, like, like for example, this unliquidated. Ah, yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, that's, that, was, that, was the, uh, that was the fault of the old officers that I inherited. But now I can't get the proper support because I'm like, not the last president. Mm. So, right? Really? When did, when did you enter this, uh, the politics of sports? Well, <laughs> that's true, you know what? Um, <laughs> okay, what, 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 um, I always used to wrestle before. Mm -hmm. It's a good base for jiu-jitsu, for mixed martial arts. You know, it's very, it makes you really, really tough and strong. So I was wrestling for a long, 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 long time. That was... One day, the wrestler said, you know, we have to do something because lagi nilang tayong inaapi, lagi tayong nakakawan, lagi tayong lagi nagkukulang. Mm -hmm. you know, if you can, yung mga horror stories talaga. I would see our athletes, kakain sila ng lunch. Rice. Mm -hmm. Ang ulam nila, yung cup noodles. Oh, cup noodles? Yeah, yun yung ulam nila. Can you imagine? Diba, paano ko? Paano ko nang nakawal? Nutrition ng mga kong doon. Yeah, diba? So, yun. So, Eventually, I became an officer. When I became an officer, uh, dun, dun na pala. Paano pa ka? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just get started. Get well, no, no. But uh, the, the, the athletes are help <coughs> when, they're, when they're injured. Talagang, if you go down to the PT session at BSC, talagang, they really, really fix you up right away. I was PT based on PSC. I had injuries there. I went there after two weeks. Pwede na ako. Magaling sila. So, competent talaga yung magaling sila doon. Well, madami naman din sa mga public hospitals or public hospitals ba yun? No, no. It's under, it's within PSC also. So, talaga. So, this is your... I worms by saying all of this. Okay lang. So, yun. Do you have any uh, other messages that you want to share? Right um, okay, yeah, well, well, okay, first of the Jiu-Jitsu community, um, I hope that from now on we can all work that to make sure that we send the best. No bullshit politics. Okay, um, that we send the best. Okay, not, not because one guy is your friend, one guy is your teammate. We all saw what happened in the Asian Games. That is an absolute, absolute uh, disgrace what just happened there. We sent people who all of us knew would never win. And we used government resources to send them. And I knew and I told you everybody, I even showed all, showed all the officials that you guys have no chance in hell of winning here. And you still sent them. When we could have sent five guys who would have been sure gold medals. Let's please make sure this does not happen again. Um, next, for the uh, mixed martial arts community, let's continue to keep working together. Um, I'm very, very happy with the strides. There's more promotions, there's more awareness for uh, mixed martial arts. Sky's the limit. As long as we work together, I love that. We'll, we'll achieve all of our goals.